So I got a random email a few days ago, not uncommon because I usually get one or two every week or so and asking me to check out their game or become my sponsor. I've definitely thought about it, but today we're not here to talk about sponsors. We're here to talk about this indie game that was recommended to me by the lead developer himself of the time simulations. The email starts off by saying, hi, Durag. I wanted to let you know about a project I've been working on called Response. I'm an independent developer that just released on Kickstarter and I wanted to do my best to spread the word. And we just have a gift here destruction, explosives, bullet holes. Response is a project that allows you to destroy, deform, penetrate everything. Its goal is to enable possibilities in how suspects response teams respond, as well as convey the chaos a real life siege situation can cause. We have another gif here that says weapon manipulation, weapon resting, attachments, weapons, physical based recoil, dynamic sight switching, physically simulated, sheathing, perspective reloading. Everything is physically based. Your weapon will collide with its environment. The player will shimmy and press against walls if you move up against or lean towards a wall. The idea of response is to relay the physicality of operating in tight spaces, and it does that by simulating the actions you take. Realistic handling, physics-based animations, IK systems, variable height adjust, dynamic walking IK, leaning, weapon gripping, accurate player vision. The player controller in response was made with the idea of allowing as much freedom of movement as possible. It was very important to me as someone who has experienced in real life playing airsoft and VR games, VR games counts as real life, that your body can be something you can utilize properly. Simply put, you aren't limited between standing and crouching in real life. The result is being to dynamically adjust your height on the fly, to lower and raise your weapon on the fly, and to lean and press your weapon tight up against corners. Response was made because I feel a lot of games and simulations out there miss the mark. She, if I had a knuckle for every time I heard that one, I'd be rich! Forget this YouTube stuff! There's things they just don't come convey or they cheat. Response is something that aims to fill that gap and do its best. If you would like to see more, I can read about the project here. Oh boy, a Kickstarter. If any of you have actually watched my channel before, then you know how I feel about Kickstarters. I'm pretty uh, meh meh, because like 90 to 80% of the time, Kickstarters like never be the game that they advertise to be. Or they're a scam, or they just don't reach their goal. Very rarely do they actually get the funding and be the game that they set out to be. And reading through this word salad, it really didn't give me a scent of what this game is actually all about. Like it just sounded like things that a character model can do but they don't explain what exactly this game is all about you get what i'm saying i guess we'll just check out the kickstarter and look at that we've actually got a video let's take a look see real time object destruction okay using a gpu based solution there's no audio by the way real time armor plate dynamics generates a heat map to track armor integrity real time object deformation using a gpu based solution bullet ballistics bullet travel through walls and track velocity okay let's looks kind of cool showing this side here bullet ballistics fully simulated weapons weapons interact with their environment and you can actually put your gun through and oh yeah you can see you can see it right there too so like he's colliding with that whoa what is that face creepy advanced player movement variable crouch level and variable leaning in real time oh god but this looks cool though yeah, that, that actually looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. Then we got physics simulated recoil. Weapons enact force entirely through physics. Visual player IK glitching known bug. I mean, the gun actually doesn't look too bad when he's shooting it. Oh, we actually have some audio here. Hold on. Stay back, cunts. Or else. This is so blurry. Turns on the flashlight. It actually doesn't look too bad. That was it? Oh, that's kind of lame. So yeah, 
in case you haven't noticed this project has reached zero percent of its goal and that's because they are asking for eight oh my god i think my heart skipped a beat a little 80 g's though holy moly ah uh, looking down here the only thing that okay you know what let's see what this says here what is response response is a first person armed response simulation its core aim is to stimulate the logistics of operating a firearm in cqb situations the term armed response is a given title to armed police units based in the uk which is where this project takes place they are comparable to the american swat teams the environments presented in response will be directly inspired by british architecture and design being based in the united kingdom response will have the ability to play up to okay so my problem with this is that this clearly is not an actual game that you're ready to like give out to people have you ever heard the term show don't tell well you're telling me a lot of stuff but not showing me a whole lot of things that could be in the game which leads me to believe that everything that you're saying is definitely not guaranteed to be put into the game what this is is like a tech demo essentially it's just showing off what you can do with the character model which i think is really cool like i do like this but you're asking quite a bit of money for not a whole lot going on in here like uh, don't get me wrong this is cool but i would like to see him actually shoot somebody or like do an actual objective in a freaking cool looking house that isn't empty the lighting looks pretty good though not gonna lie what i'm trying to say is where is the game i want that meat and potatoes and all you're giving me is the freaking salt if this game's not ready to have out a demo then why do you think it's ready to put into a kickstarter i think that you guys could definitely have something here but it's not quite where it could be you guys should definitely give it like another year or two and then come back to the kickstarter when you have something more to show i just definitely don't see you guys reaching this goal by the end of this month this definitely looks like it needs another year or two in the oven before you guys decide to actually come out with something more tangible but i mean to start out it doesn't look too bad i'd give you some money but honestly i just don't think you're gonna make that goal at the end of the month i just i highly doubt it but i mean if you guys somehow get to like 50k then i'll be like all right i guess like what are you going to do in this game like as far as i can tell you're just like standing up and just like doing a bunch of movements that are pretty cool but how are they gonna help me in a situation like you haven't actually showed any of that off uh maybe going up and securing a civilian or disarming a bomb planning things on a planning phase briefings all the things that make a game you know especially if you're trying to make like some sort of SWAT game like this is cool but where is the game I would like to be able to play a demo with actual objectives here before I make my investment but uh, yeah so that's response I'm gonna put a link down in the description even though I feel like I shouldn't if you're someone that actually does want to support them or at least give them like you know pointers heads up or what things to add to their game then uh yeah but aside from that i'm gonna end the video if you enjoy the fact that i cover games uh, air quotes games like response then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on this type of game or any other game that i decide to cover if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon hop on that join button send a thank you in the comments with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye